Good morning, everybody. This is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship, and I appreciate you guys joining me today on the Ranch Road. And again, for those of you who might be new to this post, it's uh, just a little short drive we take over to the ranch daily. And uh, I do have a little brief apology. It's been no, oh, oh, about a week, I guess, or, or so before, or since my last uh, my last post on the Ranch Road. But uh, let's just say we've had a lot of interesting stuff going on. And uh, I, honestly, I've just been a little distracted. There's no really excuses other than just being maybe perhaps a bit distracted. But uh, we all have our problems, don't we, all right? So here's what I wanna visit with you guys about today. Um, first and foremost, I'm always grateful for folks that send in questions and comments and, and that sort of thing to me, uh, almost always by invitation. We like to, we like to invite folks to send us uh, their issues that they may be having with their horses. Uh, let us know what we can do to help you with those and we'll do our darn level darn level best to try to try to help you guys out But it just seems just here lately Maybe it's because spring is just around the corner and if you're down here in South Texas today is supposed to be Almost 85 degrees hard to believe that it's February and it's almost 85 um, Or at least it's gonna be later on but um Sometimes it, it, that seasonal thing comes around we kind of get our horses out we start doing more things with them and, um, and, and that's always a great thing. But with that, it's a new discovery of problems. Uh, oh, a couple of posts ago, we mentioned uh, about my attitude toward obstacles. I think obstacles are great. Obstacles, uh, they're good opportunities for us to expose our horses to certain things, mostly to us. And it helps us look at obstacles in another way. It, looks us, it look, gives us an opportunity to look at obstacles in a way to help us broaden uh, what we may be doing help us understand where more specifically we might be in our training and in our horses training so obstacles can be a really good thing but obstacles might be construed as a bit different than say problems problems and when i say problems it's stuff like oh i got a horse that's cinchy with the back cinch i got a horse that's um you know won't stand still for mounting or won't stand still for grooming or saddling and in other words those things are, are problems um but yet Here's, here's the other side of that. <clears throat> Problems, in my opinion, are just evidences of a lack of foundation, a lack of training. Um, another friend of mine posted something the other day regarding what he regards as a broke horse, and he had a this fairly long list of things. And I agree 110% with that, because almost everything he had on there were just basic, simple things we want a horse to do, such as stand still while mounting, um, uh, such as flexing laterally. I mean, there's so many of those things that are just fundamental. And whenever somebody has a problem, quote unquote problem with that, really what that truly is is an indication of a horse that's just not broke. Now, as soon as I say that, everybody goes, oh no, my horse is broke, it does this great, and it does that great, well, then what's the problem? You know, they don't like that answer when I say, well, okay, well, then what's the problem? Uh, or when I hear people say, oh, my horse is really good except, oh, he's great, but, you see, that but or that except, that is a compromise of our standards. There's no excuse, really, for that horse not being broke. There's no excuse for that horse not standing still. There's no excuse for that horse not lowering his head into the halter and or the bridle. There's no excuse for that. And really, in my opinion, they're not what I would call problems. Problems are a result of an extended amount of time of ignoring those old oh, little evidences, you know, those little evidence moments of things that, uh, that might be coming up. So what we really need to realize is the horse doesn't really have a problem. What the horse has is just that ability to bring us to where we're more aware of a lack of that foundation or the lack of that training, a lack of that quote unquote broke horse. So what I really want you guys to realize is, is as much as I love to help you, what I want you to realize is, is that the, the way to solve 99.9% .9 of your problems is go back to the basics. Quit worrying about the problem. Quit worrying about this big thing. Quit worrying about, oh, he won't load in a trailer. Worry about forward motion, control of forward motion, the stopping of forward motion. Worry about whether or not the horse is truly responding quietly and responsibly to the cues that you're giving that horse to do. You see, that understanding and that trust is part of that absolute basic foundation, uh, what I call the ABCs, that absolute basic criteria of a broke horse.
okay? So um, let's not worry about the problems. Those are just evidences and uh, indicators that there might be something in the foundation that we need to address. And quite frankly, that's one of the reasons that I don't care if it's one of the top performance horses in our barn or if it's a horse that we're just bringing in. I focus on nothing but the basics. If I focus on that, then that horse's talents, understanding, uh, trainability, all gets developed and, uh, and it allows us to go a lot further than working on very specific type of issues. You see, I try to, try to work on that foundation the ABCs, the absolute basic criteria. And when you find that you work on those, it's suddenly amazing to us that awareness hits us that our problems seem to get smaller and smaller until eventually we really don't have much of a problem horse at all, do we? Anyway, I hope that tidbit helps you guys. Thank you so much again for joining me on the Ranch Road. Continue to send me those issues and I'll do my dead level best to help you guys overcome whatever we can. Keep in mind obstacles are, they can be a very good thing. And keep in mind problems are just indicators um, of a foundation and a little bit of work we could do on our foundation. Thanks again. Until next time, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship.